Welcome to the Kleiss MCS 6038 System Overview and Operating Instructions. In the next few minutes, you'll learn why this inflatable stopping system is uniquely qualified to meet the needs of North American natural gas local distribution companies. What sets this flow control system apart from competitors is the unique multi-dimensional safety stopper, which inflates in the pipe to make a complete stop off. Other key benefits of this system include a user-friendly, simple design. It's lightweight and portable. Each system can be used on a wide range of pipe sizes. Each system has the ability to work on all pipe material and operators can change from cast iron to polyethylene to steel with just a fitting switch. And because of these benefits, the Kleiss MCS system ultimately saves money. Before we get into operational details, we'd like to point out a few safety features. All critical components have a three times safety factor. The gauges built into the stopping tower allow you to continually monitor pressure in the pipeline and the stopper. Without adding any additional taps, the system allows the operators to vent or purge gas directly through the flow stopping tool. When beginning work with the Kleiss MCS 6038 system, be sure to always use the appropriate safety equipment. Also, always follow your company's safety procedures for operations involving tapping and stopping live natural gas lines. Please note this video is to be used only as a training aid. It is not intended as a replacement for the system manual. Now, let's get to the basics of the operating procedures. The Kleiss MCS 6038 system can be used on pipelines with a diameter between 3 inches and 8 inches. It can handle an operating pressure of up to 60 psi and can be used on cast iron, polyethylene, and steel. Before getting started, evaluate your job site to determine appropriate equipment distances and if there are any limitations. The sequence for setting the stoppers is important and a double block and bleed, as pictured, is recommended. Always think through work processes like purging and review safety procedures. Also, prior to starting, refer to the system manual to determine the appropriate MDS stopper size needed for your project. The Kleiss MCS 6038 system has four stopper sizes to choose from. Dependent upon the pipe material in use, you will choose the fitting design for that material type. The first fitting shown is for polyethylene applications. It is a standard electrofusion fitting which is pipe size specific. Next is the steel fitting, which is designed to weld on all pipes sizes 3 through 8 inch. The cast iron fitting bolts on and is pipe size specific. Please refer to the manual for proper fitting placement. Once you've attached the appropriate fitting, you'll want to test it according to your company standards and specifications to make sure the fitting is properly installed. The tapping case holds both the tools for tapping and completion. The tools are very portable and weigh only 23 pounds for the tapping tool and 13 pounds for the completion tool. The tapping tool consists of the drilling rod, the tapping device, and the drilling dome. From there, depending on your pipe application, you'll either choose the polyethylene cutter or the steel and cast iron cutter. Please note that when using the steel and cast iron cutter, cutting grease must be used. With your fitting securely attached to the pipe, add the appropriate ring adapter along with the ball valve. Now, attach the tapping tool you assembled by threading the drilling dome to the top of the ball valve. Open the ball valve and lower the drilling rod until the pilot drill makes contact with the pipe. Lock the feed tube to the drilling rod at the closest hole in the rod. Rotate the feed tube counterclockwise until three additional threads are exposed to make certain the pilot drill is off the pipe before drilling starts. You are now prepared to cut. Using the hand ratchet or air motor, begin to tap the pipeline. Once the tapping process has started, you'll go through three phases. First, the pilot drill will perforate the pipe wall causing you to feel less resistance. Secondly, you will feel the process start to tighten again as the cutter begins to cut the pipe. Lastly, you will feel less resistance again when the cutter is completely through the pipe wall. At that time, you'll have the pressure above and below the ball valve. Pull the drilling rod completely upwards above the ball valve and close the valve. Open the drilling dome's blowdown valve to release pressure. Remove the complete tapping tool from the ball valve and remove the drilling coupon from the cutter. Next, we'll take you through the revolutionary stopping operation. As we mentioned, this system is lightweight and easy to handle. 
The Kleiss MCS 6038 stopping tower weighs only 46 pounds and can easily be maneuvered by one operator. The installation of the stopping tool begins by attaching the gauges to the stopping tower. The gold connection gauge measures the pressure inside the pipeline in front of the MDS stopper. The silver connection gauge measures the inflation pressure of the MDS stopper. The next step is to attach the MDS stopper. Before attaching, make certain the O-rings on the stopper and the gasket inside the coupling are in place and in good condition. Always tighten the stopper with a pair of wrenches. Once attached, connect the hand pump and pull a vacuum on the stopper to make it as compact as possible. Close the inflation valve and remove the hose. Wait five minutes and verify the negative pressure was maintained. Before pulling the stopper into the stopping tower, apply silicone spray at the nose and the end of the MDS stopper. Attach the chute to the stopping tower. Refer to the manual to determine which chute size to use. Once the stopping tool is completely assembled, retract the chute into the tower and attach the stopping tool to the top of the ball valve. Align the stopping tool so the MDS stopper is in the correct position. There is an arrow indication on the side of the gearbox. Lock the stopping tool into position using the hooked wrench. Once the stopping tool is attached and the MDS stopper is in proper alignment with the pipe, open the ball valve and check for any leaks in the stopping tower. With a sealed tower, lower the gearbox down to the appropriate height indicator on the rod. This lowers the chute into the pipeline and lower the MDS stopper into the pipe. Lock the pressure rod when the depth indicator mark is at the brass locking component. It's time to inflate the stopper in the pipe. For demonstration purposes, here is a clear pipe so you can see the stopper in action. Inflate the stopper to two times the pipeline pressure. If this does not secure a complete stop off, inflate the stopper until flow is completely stopped off up to a maximum of 120 PSI. Install safety device on inflation pressure port and allow the stopper to stabilize inside the pipeline for at least 10 minutes. Now that the stopper is properly inflated and completely stopping off the gas flow, it's time to purge the work area. If it's a short work area, you can purge directly from the bypass vent port on the tower. For larger applications, you can attach the vent stack to the bypass vent port. After verifying the inflation and pipeline pressures remain stable on all job site stoppers, you may begin work on the pipeline. When the job is done, it is time to deflate the stopper and allow flow through the pipeline. This is done in a two-part process. First, equalize the pressure behind and in front of the MDS stopper. This can be done in a variety of ways. Please refer to the manual. Next, deflate the stopper. Remove the safety device and open the valve to release pressure inside the stopper. Pull a vacuum on the stopper to make it as compact as possible. Pull the pressure rod completely upwards, moving the stopper from inside the pipe up into the stopping tower. Now you're ready to move the chute back up into the stopping tower. Unlock the gearbox and bring it to its highest position. Bleed off any pressure inside the stopping tower by closing the ball valve and opening the bypass vent port. Remove the stopping tool from the ball valve. To finish the job, Assemble the completion tool with plug attached and connect the drilling dome to the ball valve. Open the ball valve and lower the plug. With the hand ratchet, screw the plug into the fitting until bottomed out and tight. Test to make sure there is a seal. After the plug seal has been verified, remove the dome, valve and valve adapter from the fitting. Inspect the completion plug for any leaks. If everything looks good, Screw on the cap and your job is now complete. Again, be sure to consult the manual for full instructions. For additional information, contact Mainline Control Systems at 844-FLOWSTOP or visit us at MainlineControlSystems.com.